I'm Scott Allen Miller. It's the 26th of January, 2023. This is the Scott Allen Miller Vlog, and welcome to my show of life in Leon, Nicaragua. And today we're doing a completely different format because, one, I'm way behind, and two, I just felt like we needed to shake it up and provide a change. And I don't know how this is going to sound because I'm actually just using a relatively cheap, as in we got it for free, Logitech headset on my computer. And you are watching a time lapse that I actually recorded like two days ago. This is the gardening crew as they came to the house and were working in our garden. Uh, and I set up the GoPro on a windowsill and just let it go. Uh, today that we're doing the video, I think this record the, the Time lapse is actually done on Tuesday, but today is Thursday, and um, I'm gonna put some links down below. Overall, I was just really exhausted today from all the things we've been doing the last few days. We've been going out a lot at night. We're just really tired, and I am feeling it. Um, and tonight, uh, we have an event that originally uh, Dominic was going to go to, and then uh, April was going, and then I got invited, and Marcella got invited, so we have a big crew going instead of just Dominica uh, from a week ago, and uh, this is a big um, sort of homage or tribute kind of concert to um, one of the country's really uh, famous singer-songwriters. I hope I get the name right. is Pablo Martinez Tayez. Uh, and he's actually the father of uh, Franklin, who you've seen perform, I assume you've seen, on the channel, uh, mostly in the shorts, uh, but fairly recently we've seen him a few times and he's, he's been shown uh, performing around town. But his father uh, is really, really uh, famous. He's known as, and I'll, I will butcher this terribly, but El Guadalupano, uh, and is a, he has written something like 700 songs that are well known in Nicaragua. Well, probably not all of them are well known, but uh, he has a really big catalog of known songs and he's been actively writing since 1974 and is still writing today. He's 76 years old and this was not his birthday. We kind of thought it was. That's actually in June. Uh, but this was an homage to him um, and playing uh, what must be nearly uh, 50 years of his music uh, and so there was something along the lines this is this evening right so all day just worked there's no story for the day um, and uh, which is why I just wanted to show the gardening like this is this is some fun stuff and um, uh, I, I guess before we actually tell you about tonight I'm just gonna take a real quick break and show you my uh, lunch for the day because I took a moment and recorded that. So we're going to go to that and be right back. All right, I'm just sitting down to have lunch and decided I never filmed myself having lunch and I need to add this to like my day because it's, you know, it's kind of interesting and one of the few things I can show and everybody's always like, show more of your life. I like never remember because I'm getting food during the day. So this is my uh, filete de pescado uh, with vegetales. Nice healthy lunch. You got the dogs out here. I'm in the garden. They're actually doing lawn mowing right now and the dogs are uh, as always maniacs and so this is this is one of our delicious lunch options here this is uh curvina uh, local fish uh breaded very very tasty and healthy vegetables i'm attempting to eat more healthy with yao here cooking it makes it much easier to eat healthy so trying to at least at least have a lot of vegetables and like fish all the time so we went out to this concert at about 7 o'clock. We got there really at perfect time. April was feeling sick, so she didn't come and join us. Uh, but her crew was there, and our crew was there, and some friends came, some new people that I didn't know. We had one of the head tables, and our hotel on the beach is one of the sponsors of this event this evening. And it's something along the lines of a dozen bands, mostly from Leon. We don't know all of them. Some we know really well, some we don't. Um, and it was different mixes of bands. Some was like single people performing, but everyone was, was well known. And just and, and for like four hours, they performed uh, uh, El Gua Guadalupano's music. Um, in all these different uh, combinations. They had different singers and saxophone players and bassists, and um, it, it was really, really cool. Uh, it was really neat that we got to go. I would estimate as many as like 200 people were there, and um, the music was fantastic, and the whole thing was, it was a lot of fun and really um, neat to be able to be a part of uh, such an important part of the um, community here in Leon and in Nicaragua in general and um, to see like a lot of pieces of history because uh, there's a lot of well-known people in, in Nicaragua were there and um, the whole thing was just really really interesting and, and important and, and fun and, and just from as a musical thing 
was it was absolutely fantastic. We had a great time. Uh, the event was held at El Vivero, uh, which is one of the biggest venues in Leon. It's a um, it's actually a nursery like with plants and trees and things, uh, and it's a very large very large venue in El, on the west side of El Centro, um, and it's on, it's on Fifth Avenue North, I believe, and uh, it backs up against the ravine. So on one side, it actually goes steeply down, and you have views, not at night, of course, but during the day, you have these views out over the ravine, which is actually quite nice, and it has a nice breeze. I mean, it always has cats wandering around and um, lots of plants everywhere, and it's a big open space uh, and great for, for live music and stuff, and it's a, it's a really neat venue, so it was, it was a cool place to be holding the event, um, and Dominica and I decided to try out, because we, we always struggle to find food at El Vivero, um, and uh, tonight we decided to try the mozzarella sticks, and we're pleasantly surprised to find that the mozzarella sticks were actually the New York-style battered and fried kind, not the not the breaded in panko, which, which are fine, that you get at like a Sonic or a Burger King, the kind of thing you get in most of the United States today are these simple, um, often pan-fried or baked, uh, just breaded cheese sticks. But in New York, it is traditional to do um, like, a, like a thick batter and to deep fry them, and they're much crispier. And um, we normally do a sweeter marinara sauce or even a jam or jelly sauce. And uh, that's, I, I miss that even just living in Texas. It's so hard to find that. Um, but being in Nicaragua where cheese sticks are just not a thing, really um it was fantastic to find that it was it was delicious so now we have something that we like to get when we go there so that was our night it was a lot of fun i didn't have anything to drink i just had coca-cola all night because i needed the caffeine and needed to avoid alcohol because i was i would have passed out had i had anything but caffeine thanks for joining me please remember to like and subscribe ask any questions get down in the comments i want to hear from you guys and uh, as always if you want to support the channel you can buy me a coffee and uh, that comes directly to me. It does a lot to keep this channel going. I hope you like today's really bizarre format uh, and uh, post on social media. We will see all of you tomorrow.